This will be the Avenger 30M series membrane and element servicing video. Depressurize the Avenger model 33M or 38M. It is not necessary to disconnect any fittings. Drain and dispose of all liquids from the Avenger Series 30 filter housing. Remove the bowl from the head. Remove the old membrane o-ring assembly and discard it. If the element cartridge needs to be changed, unscrew the element support from the head and remove the old filter element if necessary. If the cartridge does not need to be changed, the filter core membrane holder does not need to be removed. Remove a new element from the clear plastic bag. Slide the new filter element onto the element support. It should slide loosely onto the element support. Replace the element support with the filter element into the head and turn until finger tight. Note, do not over tighten the element support. To change the membrane, first unscrew the membrane retaining ring. Remove the o-ring using your fingernail, a pick, or a small screwdriver. Try to avoid scratching the metal sealing surfaces. The o-ring should be reusable. Remove the membrane and discard it. Retrieve a new membrane from the clear plastic bag. Once the old membrane is removed, place the new one over the metal membrane support, being careful not to damage or contaminate it with dirts, oils, or anything that could affect the incoming sample once put back into service. Note that if the new membrane is a type 7, the smooth side needs to be face upward. The membrane backing, which is the rough side, should be face downward. Next, place the o-ring over the membrane, centering it over the o-ring groove and lightly press one side of the o-ring into its groove. Repeat this step on the side directly opposite. Once those two spots are pressed in, repeat those steps for the spaces in between on alternating sides so that the o-ring and membrane are firmly pressed into the groove.
Replace the bowl into the head and turn it until it is hand tight. The O-ring seal will engage when the bowl comes to a mechanical stop. Note, it is not necessary to use any tools to tighten the bowl. Note, if you have a liquid block version, be sure to reintroduce sample flow slowly to avoid the liquid block activating. 